on one of these maps. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, the next person is Leonard Rothman. He's sitting here in his chair, <laughs> chairing the meeting. Uh, <laughs> if you want to put up my map, I'm doing just one map rather. The last time I did seven. Uh, so uh, I figured if I do only one map, we'll, we'll end on time and we're pretty close. Um, so uh, this map is part of the Civitatis Orbis Terrarum, Cities of the World, a six volume atlas of 546 city views and plants, plans printed in, on engraved copper plates in six volumes between 1572 and 1617. The author and editor was George Braun, Dean of the Cologne Cathedral. And the principal chief engraver was Franz Hogenberg, although there were others who did some of the engravings. The atlas was created as a companion piece to Abraham Martilius's Theatrum Orbis Terrarum, or Theater of the World, which was the first modern atlas. Even though Braun lived in Cologne, and Ortelius lived in Antwerp. These people were in communication with each other. And uh, uh, it, it's very realistic that they both uh, uh, thought this project would be great. Uh, map is de is, is draw it, the map is based on drawings by Dominicus della Gresce, also known as Johannes Dominicus Methonius. All of these engravers, publishers, Latinize their names to create a, a more a more prominence for themselves, um, uh, and it, it was uh, the drawings were made in 1546. The drawing was then printed as a woodblock etching in 1563. Uh, uh, this map is one of three Jerusalem maps in uh, the atlas. Most of the other cities are of Western and Eastern Europe. Also included are Alexandria in Egypt, Algiers, Mexico City, Cusco, Goa, and Damascus. It's sort of a uh, like a salad. I uh, don't know where the stuff came from, but any event, um, uh, this was, is a very important atlas. Uh, it was, it was it, it, you still can get it. It's really expensive. There is facsi there are facsimile editions, which are uh, one of them is. And after I show the map, I'll hold up the book. Um, the coloration on this map, let's zoom out first. Uh, the, uh, Tom, could we get the whole thing? The, the uh, coloration is mostly red and green, if you'll notice. Um, uh, red and green is uh, are the, the popular colors of uh, 16th, 17th, even 18th century uh, Germanic uh, coloration of maps. Um, you'll see a lot of brownish green, and that's because the pigments they used would oxidize into brown over the years. Now, uh, this is uh, a, a called an aerial plan, but it really isn't a true aerial plan because a true aerial plan would mean that somebody at that time had to go up with a balloon and uh, actually figure out how to make it uh, looking straight down the city. This is what we call a bird's eye aerial view, very, very common in, the, in uh, uh, cartography. Um, and it, 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 the view is uh, from the east. Uh, uh, it's from the heights of the Kidron Gallery, uh, which is uh, over here um, uh, on the bottom part of the map, which is uh, actually, um, uh, uh, which is actually uh, east. Um, and uh, you can see a river down in the valley, uh, also the valley, also known as the Valley of Jehoshaphat in the Bible, and it, it drains into the uh, um, uh, uh, Dead Sea. Um, there uh, is a, a top of the map, up on its very top. Uh, I'll read the translation. Um, it's from it's the book of Ezekiel in the Bible. Uh, this is Jerusalem. I've set it in the midst of nations and countries that are round about her. Um, the, the book of Ezekiel actually created a whole genre of maps, especially during the time of the, the Crusades and uh, uh, of uh, the map, uh, Jerusalem being the center of the world. And 
cartographers would, and would, most of these were manuscript maps, would make these large maps with Jerusalem in the middle, uh, according to the book of Ezekiel. One of the last of these uh, 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 Jerusalem-centric world maps uh, is uh, by uh, um, Bunting, and it, it shows uh, the, uh, 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 was it Bunting? I may, it might have been someone else. It shows the, uh, uh, the, the map as a, um, a clover leaf, a, a, a trefoil, which was the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the map, which was a sign of Hanover in Germany. Um, as we move further down to the uh, legend in the lower left, um, we'll, I'll, I'll read that one too. Uh, this is Jerusalem. I have set it in the midst of nations and countries that are round about here, her. Uh, Jerusalem, the holy city, the most sacred in Judea and the entire East, where size and splendor marvels the imagination. Uh, then just next to it, we have five, if you would move a little over to the right, please. Thank you. Five uh, gentlemen. Three look like Turkish noblemen wearing their finest clothes. Remember, at this time, uh, uh, Jerusalem was under the control of the church. And then we have to the left two people talking. It's hard for me to tell whether they're commoners or uh, warriors in their Sunday dress. I don't know what. But again, it's, uh, the, the clothing is probably all indicates uh, Tur Turkish uh, influence. Uh, if we move to the right, in the lower part of this map, we will also see that there are a legend with 48 uh, numbered vignettes on the map. Um, and, uh, 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 and then if we move upward uh, to towards the west, right, very good. Uh, we, I see how I've, I've used the numbering system with the uh, we originally had teardrops, now they're circles with numbers in them. And uh, if you want to uh, research this, you can also, uh, when you do that, there will be a panel on the left-hand side showing all the uh, 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 identification of the numbers, right. Um, now, we don't need to use that right now, uh, but I do want to get back to the map and the numbers. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, we uh, block this out. I just want to show it exists. Good. Okay. Now, um, so let's put the, the numbers on. Great. Um, uh, if we could just enlarge it a little bit. I don't know whether we can do that. I think I, good, 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 good. Come down a wee bit. Perfect. Um, if you start at six o'clock and we'll move clockwise, uh, I will identify these uh, uh, areas. Uh, at number five, uh, uh, at six o'clock, um, is, is the Golden Gate. It has been blocked uh, for uh, over 450 years. Just superior to that, number six, is the Temple Mount. And just superior to that is uh, the, uh, uh, with the, the, the Dome of the Rock. And the Dome of the Rock, if you'll notice, it, it, on top of that, there is a... Uh, Crescent, which is the uh, uh, Muslim uh, insignia. Uh, remember that uh, this is uh, under Muslim control. You're at eight minutes, Len. Yeah, okay, well, I'll move fast. Uh, um, uh, on, if we move to uh, number seven over here on the left, uh, we, we find uh, uh, the Zion Gate. If we move up to number 14, uh, number 14 is the Church of St. John the Baptist, originally built in 500 CE and the oldest standing church in Jerusalem. Uh, if, we, if we move to number uh, eight, uh, is the Citadel and Tower of David and was seat of the Crusader Kings. Number nine is the Jaffa Gate to it. And then if we uh, uh, come uh, over to number 14 is where Calvary is, this is empty field. If we move up to number uh, 11, this is a, the city wall that goes all the way around. It was built by uh, Suleiman the Magnificent um, and uh, in, uh, in the 1500s. If we move to number one, uh, we uh, see that the number one is uh, where um, uh, the, is the palace, no, it's the home of Pontius Pilate. 
if we uh, move over to number uh, two, uh, number two is the, well, actually number two is the House of Ponzi's pilot, I'm sorry. If we move over to number 13, um, this is the uh, palace of uh, Herod the Great. If we move up to number 12, uh, we see that this is where the uh, uh, Damascus Gate is. Uh, if we uh, move down uh, to number three, we find it is the birthplace of Mary, uh, at least theoretically. And uh, if we move down to number 15, this is an important area to many, many uh, pilgrims who go um, that go to uh, Jerusalem. This is St. Stephen's Gate, and St. Stephen's Gate that is the beginning of the Via Dolorosa. Now, uh, this is obviously a Christian map. So I, let me say a little bit about uh, Holy Land maps. Uh, Holy Land maps, uh, ancient Holy Land maps going from, say, 14, uh, uh, 1480 or earlier uh, uh, to, uh, 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 say, the 19th century, uh, were not, they're not Judaica. They're not Jewish religious objects. They are maps primarily uh, created by Christians of the Holy Land or the cities in the Holy Land. Because the Christians belonged to the guilds, whereas the, the, the Jewish people didn't. There were some Jewish map makers. There was a famous one who was a Protestant minister converted to Judaism and had already learned about uh, how to make maps and has done a very important map, which I'll show some other time. Um, uh, I've been collecting uh, Holy Land maps for many, many years. And uh, the entire, uh, my entire collection is uh, is on the website of uh, uh, the, the Rumsey Library of uh, Stanford University, um, and uh, you can reach it by going to Search Works uh, Julia and Leonard Rothman uh, Holy Land Map Collection, uh, and uh, at the Rumsey, and you can see it at your leisure anytime you want. Thank you very much, Len. Thank you so much. Uh, well, so this has really been successful time-wise, etc. And um, so what we'd like to do is spend some time uh, opening up for perhaps discussion and uh, maybe also answering the questions that are on the... Um, yeah. 